Penny Mordaunt pledges to end SNP rule. Now I've not seen any official polling on this. From what I've told, from what I'm told, sorry, from other people, I'm told that Penny Mordaunt's actually quite a popular figure up in Scotland, which, if true, could be quite encouraging. Let's face it, Ruth Davidson did it. She was popular enough, and she did well. So it does, it does show that voters can be turned if somebody is credible enough and people believe in them enough. Penny Mordaunt has pledged to end SNP rule in Scotland and knock down what she calls the yellow wall which of course would be a good thing because then we could unite the country again instead of having this crap fed down people's throats trying to make Scottish people hate English people and vice versa which is of course the SNP's only aim. Two Scottish Tory MSPs, uh, MPs sorry, have now joined Penny Mordaunt's uh, bid to be Prime Minister. One's John Lamont who's from the borders. He said it's encouraging that so many MPs are being won over by Penny's positive vision to bring our party and the United Kingdom together. Her ambitious plans to tackle the cost of living crisis and drive economic growth are the most credible of any candidate. Another one is Annie Wells, who is from, uh, a Glasgow MP, and she has said that it's she, is, she was impressed by Mordaunt's combative appearances in Westminster when she frequently took the nationalists to task and I must say even though I don't back Penny Morden I think she is very good at the dispatch box I've seen her ripped, rip Angela Rayner to pieces many a times and of course she has taken on the SNP many times as well by dishing out facts and figures and when you talk about facts and figures the SNP have absolutely nothing to come back with because everything they touch and everything they do is either a disaster or a lie or both. Another thing she has going for her as well, of course, is the fact that she has been absolutely clear that she wants nothing to do with her referendum and she wants nothing to do basically with Nicola Sturgeon. And who can blame her for that? Certainly not me.